people, people We the people would like you to know That wherever you go, we're right by your side Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to We The People. I hope that you enjoyed last week's episode as we sat down and spoke with Kenneth about some of the principles that were covered in Dr. Dweck's Mindset book. As each of us know, award show season is among us. We have award shows coming on every other weekend. We have the Oscars, the Grammys, the NAACP Image Awards, uh, the SAG Awards, Golden Globes, all these award shows celebrating the amazing work of some of our favorite actresses, actors, and musical artists. On today's episode, in honor of the Oscars coming on next weekend, I wanted to sit down with one of my good friends, Miss Terry Abney. She is all over the place, but most recently you've seen her in Owns Greenleaf, as well as the critically acclaimed film Loving. Her castmate Ruth Nega was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in the film. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest that you do. Of course, I couldn't make it to LA to sit down and speak with her in person, but thank God for Skype. Here we go. Hey, what's up, Terry? Um, thank you so much for agreeing to uh, sit down and be on uh, We The People today. Uh, first of all, I just wanna let you know that I am so proud of you and everything that you're doing. You definitely uh, are, are keeping the CAU spirit of greatness going. Uh, but the first question that I wanted to ask you uh, was tell me, since you've been on television uh, and you've also been in movies, uh, what is like the major difference in filming for TV and for film? Uh, the biggest difference to me is timing. Okay. Um, film, you have a lot, for me, film, you have a lot more time to develop the character, develop relationships with the director because on a film, there's one director, um, the crew remains the same, and you know you're only going to be on the project for, if it's a short project, two weeks. If it's a long project, six months, mm -hmm. a year, or how long shooting takes. But you know that that kind of becomes your family. TV is really fast because they're shooting an episode in a week. Um, and so I feel like you don't really have time to... I have because I haven't had like huge roles on TV to where it demands me to um, <clears throat> work every single day. Gotcha. And get the, the pages the day of or the day before. So I typically know my characters. I've seen scenes that have taken 30 times. Like... <laughs> It might just be something minute that like the director is looking for, or uh -huh. maybe another character is looking for. Um, especially in film, but in TV, that's when I did Game of Silence. I think we did we did it in like three takes. It seems like television kind of keeps you on your toes, if you will. Um, so the next question I have for you, um, being in this film, loving, you know. Um, this was a huge film, independent film, uh, but did amazing as far as uh, being recognized by many different uh, critics. Um, so how does it feel to have been a part of a critically acclaimed film and um, to have worked with an Academy Award nominated actress, uh, Ruth Nega? Amazing, for some reason when doing Loving, uh, we shot that film in like, a month and a half, two months, mm -hmm. and um, it's an independent film. When I read the script, I knew that it was a special project. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I, I'm not going to say that I'm surprised that Ruth Nega received a nomination. I believe she deserved the nomination, um, and I believe she deserves to win. Mm -hmm. I'm not being biased, but yeah, I watched her work on set, and um, I watched her process. Um, and I watched her lose herself in that character and the decisions that she made as an artist to live that character moment to moment, um, even when we weren't working, mm -hmm. which can be, uh, to some people, you know, it can seem a bit scary because you lose your, like, you really, like, lose yourself, if that makes sense. So, Academy Awards are coming up next weekend, um... Everybody wants to know, are you going to be there? I won't. Like, I don't think I was invited. I mean, oh. if that changes in the next two weeks, right. I'm absolutely going to be there. Right, um, right, right. 
but I'm sending my love from my house. Right. That and, would be um, awesome. I'm sure I'll be at parties. Right. Definitely. It's not definitely. The same, but um. I'll be sending my love, and hopefully one day I'll be there. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. Question. Um, I remember when Greenleaf first came out, and I saw that you were going to be on it. I was like, oh my god. Well, no, I didn't know that you were going to be on it. I had been watching it, and then I was like, yo, that is Terry Abney. Like, oh my goodness. So tell me, like, um, how did you get that role, and how did that come about? They had given that role to another girl before me. And um, I don't really know what happened. I, I don't. She's an amazing artist and actress. Uh, we're actually cool. But um, I auditioned right after doing Loving. I, I just got back to Atlanta. My agent sent me this awesome role for the character of Danny Yell, the 16-year-old girl who's getting raped by the uncle in the church. Um, and I did that audition, and I got like a callback or something. And at that point in time, they weren't even sure if Faith was going to be in the show at all or just be pictures wow um in terms of giving my character lines or not and i was like oh god like i love this character <laughs> it was a lot of fun because my character was just supposed to be photos and then they gave me like voiceover work to do and then um i also got camera time right. which was you know was a shock so, like I said at the beginning, you know, the Academy Awards are coming up, um, and for years, the Academy has been under a microscope for its lack of diversity when it came to artists that they nominate for their prestigious awards. This year, with the changes in their nomination process and Academy membership qualifications, it seems as if this year was a success as far as selecting a diverse class of nominees. Um, my question to you is like, why is it important to have um, diverse nominees? And why is it important that the Academy celebrates and recognizes diverse um, artists? Uh, all lives matter. And all art matters. And so, um, you know, our stories, people of color, and I say people of color, Asians, Hispanics, Latinos, Blacks, Middle Eastern, like, there are so many stories, and um, I think we just want to sit at the table. Yeah. And that's really all that we've been fighting for is for someone to recognize us. But I'm I'm so happy to see so many people this year being included, and you know, we're 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 taking steps forward. Definitely. And um, one step at a time, one day at a time. Every small battle you know, moves us in the right direction. Um, in all your recent success, have you had a moment where you met someone and completely fanned out? Like you were like, oh my gosh, I can't even talk right right now. Oprah was definitely one of them. Like I was on the red carpet doing interviews. She was standing right next to me doing interviews and I just couldn't even get the words out. Like, <laughs> I spoke in circles. Like, the interviewer asked me a question and I said, something along the lines of I'm just gonna make something up yes bubblegum and bubblegum because bubblegum is like bubblegum and you like bubblegum <laughs> because I mean I said the same word over and over I, I couldn't complete any thoughts or sentences <laughs> I felt like a dumbass and when I walked away I felt like this whole heat rush over me and I'm like Oh my God, it's fucking Oprah. That's what's up. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down uh, and talk with me. I love you, I'm proud of you. And next time I'm in, L in LA, I'll definitely have to hit you up so we can catch up and get some coffee or drinks or something like that. Um, and I feel like there's this whole clan of CAU people out in LA now just chasing their dreams. And it's just so inspiring to see. So proud of you guys. Uh, but thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I'll talk with you later. I hope that each of you enjoyed this conversation as I sat down and talked with my good friend, Terry Abney. Uh, what were some of your films that you loved this year? Um, from Hidden Figures to Fences to Moonlight to Loving, this year was filled with some amazing films on diverse topics and diverse people. What were some of your favorite films? Comment down below or follow us on social media at Twitter and Facebook at Be Hopeful People or simply just write a comment on our YouTube page at We The People. Make sure that you like, 
follow and share our amazing videos from We The People to your friends on Facebook. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode and look forward to seeing you right back here for our next episode. But until next time, remember, be hopeful people. Peace.